Tikkuni Water and Sanitation is responsible for the provision of water and sanitation for, the, for roughly 3.7 million people that live within the municipal area. The formation of the Uni City in early 2001 meant that a large portion of these unserviced rural areas was incorporated into the municipality. Provision of service to, to the largely rural areas meant that we had to think of innovative technologies. We recognized the need for applied research that was relevant to the needs of the municipality. And while investigating improved services, we needed to conduct research with reputable organizations. We then entered into a memorandum of understanding with the University of KwaZulu Natal, more specifically the Pollution Research Group, under the guidance of Professor Chris Buckley. The University of KwaZulu Natal offers a unique opportunity for researchers in the field of on-site sanitation. We have the opportunity through the partnership we have with the Itakwini Municipality, the Water Research Commission of South Africa, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Through these partnerships, we have access to a whole range of sanitation facilities. of researchers have not seen or experienced developing country sanitation systems. We offer the opportunity for people to go and visit firsthand these different systems and to experience the emptying of the pits and how material has to be managed and looked after. UKZN has a unique involvement in the reinvent the toilet challenge by undertaking specific methods and analysis on synthetic sludge and fecal sludge from different on-site sanitation facilities. We have available already an extensive data set of bi biological, mechanical and chemical properties which are available on request for all the RTTC grantees. Additional analysis could be undertaken on request by other partners. We have facilities available. Hi, my name is Merlene Reddy and um, I'm the lab technician here in PRG. I'm responsible for the general management of the lab and I oversee researchers, students um, and analysis carried out here. My name is Björn Petruschka, I am from Germany, I am a PhD student down here at UKZN, the Pollution Research Group. The main reason I am doing the research for border down here is because South Africa has the unique situation of being partly a first world country, having all the research facilities, having proper roadworks, access to all western tools and knowledge, surrounded by developing countries' problems in sanitation in the peri-urban area around the town which makes it easy to do first-class research in the laboratories here and directly going out in the field half an hour drive to directly go to the problem zones and see what's going on there. Doing research there, coming back, getting knowledge out of it. They can come here bringing their own equipment and do the kinds of experiments and tests which they would not be able to do in their home laboratories. My name is Colleen Archer. I have been a parasitologist for 33 years and recently started working with the Pollution Research Group at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. This goes back to approximately 2004-2005 when I started helping honours students and from then I went on to help masters and PhD students. We have five MSc students under the RTTC Phase 2. My name is Albert Mujinki. I come from Zimbabwe. 
I did my undergrad here at the University of KwaZulu Natal. And currently, I'm doing my MSc, focusing on the forward osmosis of urine. We are looking at desalinating urine using forward osmosis as a technique. Okay, my name is Joyce Oma. I'm from Kenya. My project is on microfiltration and nanofiltration of flash water. My name is Lefano Lotiva. I'm from Lesotho. I'm doing uh, my master's in chemical engineering under the project called the Rheological Properties of Fissile Sludge. My name is Simon Wawero Mirara. I come from Kenya. I've come to Durban to do a master's in characterization of on-site materials, that is VIP sludge processing. My name is Konza Kutube. I'm from Zimbabwe. My project topic is separation products of urine. Okay, so we've selected different samples from the pits uh, according to the diagram here. So number one is selected from the front. So we have number one, two, three, four, all in the front side. Then we have five, six, eight at the back. So you first remove the first layer, then you take one and five, you remove the second layer, and you take the corresponding one up until the last layer where you take four and eight from the bottom of the of the pit. My name is Dumisani Majosi. I represent a company called Amapumeleli Trading. Basically, we specialize in clearing of VIP pit latrines. We started uh, clearing the VIPs in 2008. Okay, so these are the samples we've taken from the school pits. So these are the raw toilets. We're doing these toilets. We found that those toilets were very liquid, so we couldn't take a sample from those ones. So these are the, we took, uh, we were able to take like six samples and then we took four of each of the other toilets. So these are the samples that will now be taken to the varsity to be analyzed for mechanical and chemical properties of the sludge. After the sludge has been emptied from the pits, it's important to know what its properties are so we can know how to treat it downstream. Working at Sasol in, in the petrochemical field for five years and I became interested in sanitation and environmental work. I researched about the pollution research group and decided to come to University of KwaZulu-Natal to do my master's. On specific requests, we can also undertake um, different prototypes testing in situ or in lab conditions. We have a fully equipped workshop which is able to undertake mechanical changes to equipment and repairs. My name is Ken Jack and I'm Chief Technician of the Chemical Engineering Workshops. We do a lot of work for Chris. We have lathes, milling machines, shaping, grinds, grinding machines, cuttle saws. We have enough machinery here for any events that uh, need to be done. Because of the nature of the material we're working with and the fact that the population we are receiving these samples from have a high prevalence of disease, health and safety issues are of paramount importance. The health and safety of all our visitors is well taken into account through the work of our laboratory manager who runs a very stringent health and safety campaign in our laboratory. I'm actively involved in the health and safety of the lab. We have a worked out mechanism for careering uh, samples which should be prepared in our lab. Um, whether the visitors come and prepare the samples themselves or we can prepare on specific request and ship it to any point of the world. Ethical approval is requested from the university for all the work that we do which involves community. Social studies have been undertaken by different grantees to understand the social constructs and user preferences for different sanitation systems. Once the area 
is identified for the implementation of the VIP MT. We then uh, contact the councillor of that particular area, set an appointment to meet him and his community structure, and we inform them about the project. Then uh, we set a community meeting to meet the whole community to inform them of the project. The one person, we, we, what we call him CLO, Community Liaison Officer, locally what you call a recruiter, mm -hmm. we train him. Um, I'm working for EWS, I'm doing this as a master's project. I've been working with the community around issues of health and hygiene education because we've been getting feedback that people are not using it properly and they're not happy with it. In the, in the households where they're using it properly, it's, it's mostly children that are doing the job. So we thought this time around, uh, let us engage the children. Very exciting. We have a comic book that we're going to use throughout the schools of KwaZulu Natal where the, 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 the UD toilets are being utilized. The municipality have created a test and evaluation center where we were able to process large quantities of different excreta streams at a pilot scale. In about 2005, we embarked on a project here to empty pit latrines, um, VIPs, that is, ventilate and improve pit latrines, and halfway through the project, we had a problem, and as much as we had nowhere to dispose of the sludge. After show, closing down these two treatment works, we realized that you can't take VIP sludges to a treatment works, it's not designed for that. We then started thinking and we came up with a design or we, we produced a, a, a machine called the DEPA, which stands for Latrine Dehydration and Pasteurization. Um, and this machine basically separates the sludge from the detritus, which is very difficult in normal circumstances. Uh, it is then deposited at the end of the belt into a heap of pellets, which is then bagged um, uh, for use for agricultural use. We are now here on the Newlands and Fromage research site. A research site where we work together with the Queen Municipality, different departments, the water and sanitation department, the infrastructure management department, which looks at the agricultural site, and the University of Kasul Natal. The third train has got five departments. So, in the anaerobic process, we have microorganisms there that use the food that's available in the ship. Buna focuses on aspects of a dry sanitation system with urine collection and urine treatment. And within this task, we are focused on recovering nutrients from the source-separated urine. This collaboration began in 2010, comprising of researchers from various institutions, such as the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Science and Technology, the University of Pozulu Natal, as well as members of Itikwini Water and Sanitation. I'm Ryan Mahoney and I'm a researcher with the University of Colorado. Uh, we, we also have a, a reinvent the toilet grant where we're using concentrated sun, sunlight to generate a charcoal out of human waste and I'm here because uh, UKZM was nice enough to invite me to work with their London feedstock that they have here. We are from Kana Water and Storage Company in uh, Zambia. We've come here with the two local authorities uh, from Kitwe and Kalulushi uh, to come and learn on on-site sanitation and specifically the aspect of fecal sludge management. And through our research we learned that there's a lot of work that is being done in South Africa and this is why we've come. The education tour has been awesome. There are a lot of things that we've learned and um, we are sure that it's going to help us, particularly the fact that most of what is happening here is backed with research.